Hello my friends who enjoy our channel The Wild Kingdom America. You who are new to the channel are welcome. You who are very sheltered from the beginning. If you haven't written yet, write and click the bell to be the first to receive our videos. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment. In this video, I want to invite you to go with me on an adventure in the middle of the Amazon jungle, where we will face the challenges and dangers of this immense and mysterious jungle, in a survival challenge that I will call, Wild and Wet Amazon. The first dangers that you face in our Amazonian winter are on the roads. After the roads are very smooth and slippery, a mistake you will go to mud. Then there are the big logging trucks, if you don't literally leave the road, they run over you, because they are too heavy to leave the road. Here I'm going to make this road bigger, and I'm going to enter this little farm road, here there's even more mud. I'm going to go about 7 kilometers to the edge of a stream, there I'm going to go into the jungle and do camping. These roads in winter are not even 4x4. Four four. Only those who have the spirit of adventure come here. There's a lot of mud. This is the Igorate, when the winter really sets in, many times this river rises so much, to the point of leaving, but for kilometers outside the bed, it only passes here by canoe. So I'm going into the jungle, and I'm going up until I reach the plateau, and I'm going to make camp there. Down here, in addition to the dangers known as jaguars, there are also the risks of flash floods, and falling trees. I can't camp down here. I have to go up. This place here is, but open and also has sunlight. I'll put the things down and I'll make the shelter. I walk with a hammock and with plastic, my challenge here and I got the food. I also need to be very careful, I walk alone, may God forbid any accident here, nobody knows where I am. I'm just going to tie a stick from one tree to another, and put the plastic on, the shelter is already done, and I'm already hungry. The secret to long-term survival, and not rushing too far in the beginning. I intend to survive here, from the fruits and palm hearts, and if possible, catch the fish and the animal. But to catch the fish and the animal I need to make traps, and to make traps I have to spend energy. Now, after the shelter is done, I'm going to take a little walk towards the river, to begin to understand what is best to be done. Another challenge here is the water, although we are close to a river, this water is contaminated, if I drink this water without purifying or boiling it, the challenge could end today. I can boil water, or make a well to filter the water, or find containers to collect rainwater. This here I call Sakupenba, this is a protection of the palm tree, this can accumulate water. I made a mechanism to accumulate water, ready now I'm going out. Here I am finding a tukum tree that is bearing fruit, I have already found a source of nutrients. These fruits are extremely rich in sugar, oil, fiber and carbohydrates, all of which are great for keeping my body nourished. Now this other finding is not encouraging. This here is a jaguar's trail. This indicates that I have the company of a jaguar in the area. I have to be smart. There's a trail of her and a taper, and apparently both the taper and the jaguar passed here a short time ago, 
because it's been raining fine, so if the tracks were from last night, the rain would have stopped. That jaguar may have passed here right now. The river is already down there, and as you can see the animal trails are very busy. I'll go down there too. Look here. The jaguar's trail is very much alive. This jaguar passed by a few minutes ago. Someone cut these beautiful trees to make a bridge to cross to the other side. The jaguars here specialize in catching alligators. This jaguar can be just a few meters from here now. I'm thinking of making a fish trap here. In survival, you have to take into account the cost-benefit. I can make a trap that can bring me benefit, or I can make a trap that will only waste energy for nothing. What to do? If the trap works I can spend the whole week reaping the results, in which case the cost was just worth it, but otherwise it's just a waste of energy. Yeah, I'm going to risk making a big trap, if it works out I'll prosper. The idea is to make a fence, make a triggering mechanism, put a door, when the fish enter the door closes and the fish is trapped, and I have food, look at that, fasten fasten. So I'm going to enjoy it while I have energy, so let's go. I spent an entire afternoon, now I'm hoping I'll be rewarded, and the river is filling, I go back to the camp and I'm going to recover my energies. Look what a great find I'm finding. Here it looks like someone once had a camp, but it's been a long time since this pot can boil water. There's even pepper here, if I catch the fish I can make a feast, seasoning it with this pepper. This place here is close to my camp. I made a stool to sit on, so when I have a visitor I have somewhere to sit. I need to make the fire, the fire not only scares the mosquitoes, but also scares the predators. I create the spark using a steel wool and the battery of my flashlight. Everything is wet, it's very difficult to make a fire under these circumstances, but knowing that I brought this rubber, and I also found this cattail, its brains are dry, I'll get it. We have fire. Now I'm going to use this plastic bag to cover the hole in this bowl, because this bowl is very useful.
without a firearm, alone, in the most dangerous jungle in the world. I will survive what the jungle gives me. Hello my friends, who likes our channel O Reino Selvagem America. My name is Charles Arojo, straight from our Brazilian Amazon jungle. Come with me, discover the wildest, most exuberant jungle in the world. Jaguars, jararacas, electric fish, alligators, and all the dangers of our Amazon jungle. And survival Lismo, with many adventures. It's Wild Kingdom America! Esmaguei suas cabeças debaixo do calcanhar